hello guys welcome to limitless mother beast channel and today i am going to be sharing my recipe for my red enchiladas and these enchiladas are super delicious so i really hope you guys enjoy this video and let me know how you guys do your enchiladas i really want to know if we do them different so with that said let's get straight to it my ingredients half a medium onion two tomatoes potatoes and carrots and i already have them pre-cut oregano leaves we got some tortillas tomato paste olive oil any kind of cheese you want we got some ground pepper thyme chili powder salt We have negro chiles and I'm using three of these. Then chile de arbol. These will make probably like three regular chile de arbol. Some of your ground beef, um, all-purpose flour, and then your garlic. We're going to start with our ground beef and I have this in medium heat. And you're going to cook your onion until it's translucent. FYI guys, I made a concoction um, beside, I totally forgot to tell you guys, um, it has one fourth of water and all the spices that I showed you guys that we needed, I did that and just mixed it well and that's going to be our seasoning and that's how it looks, plus the minced garlic. You add one of your tomatoes in your meat. And then throw your carrots and your potatoes in there. I do season them with a little bit of salt here. And then I would still leave it in the medium heat and leave those there for around 10 minutes until everything is cooked and on the side i will be boiling some water this water is going to be for our chiles and your tomato and um i let it boil for like a like a minute or so and then i turn it off and i throw in the things and that still cooks your chile and your tomato is enough enough for it to cook your tomato and your chiles all right guys i promise you guys next time i will try to film a little bit better than this this was on my phone i haven't filmed on my phone for a bit i was doing a vlog this day so like i said next time i'll promise you guys i'll try to do a better job So here I was going to put only two tablespoons of the tomato paste, but I decided just to throw it all, all in there. I wasn't really going to use it for anything else, so why throw it away? And, um, and yeah, I put the tomato paste in there. I put the chiles and the tomato in there and minced garlic. You, could, you guys could always use the garlic, um, the cloves. I just have minced garlic here and then the quarter of an onion as well. And you guys could definitely use a mocajete. I don't have a mocajete so I'm using my blender. It's, I want this sauce to be very thick. That's just how I like it. And our paste, the our chile paste that we just did in the blender, we are going to give it a little bit more taste and a little bit more watery not too watery um i did put a little bit of oil here it is on medium heat 
and then I put one fourth of all purpose flour. You mix it well. You really don't want your flour to burn. And I did put maybe like half a cup of water here. And then um, it all depends how thick you want your sauce to be. I like it a little bit on the thicker side. And then I do put my chili paste here. And you just mix it well. And then of course use your spatula for it to not to not get stuck in the bottom. You really don't want to burn it. And yeah, I did add a little bit more water here at the end. Um, you you just probably already saw it. And yeah, you just let it simmer for a little bit, and that's it. Your sauce is ready. And of course, you guys always want to try your food and see if it needs a little bit more salt. And for me, I think it needed a little bit more salt. All right, Erin, you want to put that aside. And now here is, uh, this is some oil and it's on medium heat as well. Your tortillas will be ready when they start blistering, just how you guys see. And yeah, I did maybe like, oh, I want to say 20 tortillas. I'm not sure but um i didn't put no more oil on that and i just did the tortillas that i had on hand and of course my little chefs are always trying to give a hand and here i am just shredding my cheese just to be ready so while i'm shredding my cheese or while you're cooking your tortillas you could definitely preheat your oven and I do preheat it at 375. It, it all just depends how fast you want it to get hot. So now the preparation begins. Here I have my tortillas, my chile, and my um, carne. It's, it's, uh, all I do is just dip in the tortillas and put the carne, the ground beef in there, and then I just repeat all the steps. It's pretty easy, pretty simple, and these enchiladas are super, super good. I did pair my enchiladas with some rice, and I do put lettuce cotija cheese and some sour cream on the top it all depends how you guys eat your enchiladas and how you guys really like them and with the extra sauce that i have left i do like to put it in the middle of my enchiladas just how i am doing it here and then i just throw in my cheese as well right in the middle with my cheese with my sauce i'm sorry And I do leave my enchiladas in the oven for about 10 minutes. Everything's already hot. You just want the cheese to get melted. And it depends if you like crispy cheese or just the soggy cheesy cheese. <laughs> so yeah, that's how they look. And they were super good. I'm, I'm serious, guys. With some rice. And then I just put uh, lettuce, sour cream, and some cotija cheese. So we're going to try this. And we'll see how they come out. So, a little bit of everything. So, bon appetit. Mm. These are really good. It has a little kick to it, but not, a, not spicy for the girls, so maybe maybe for them if they feel something spicy they're overdo it all the time so all right guys i really hope you guys enjoy this dinner recipe and let me know if you guys try it out and let me know how you guys do it i do want to post more recipes here so um i hope that works out with you guys so yeah all right guys i love you guys so much until the next